So leg four of the Starters Orders Hurdle Series will be my final race of the day. Two miles and six furlongs. This time final is in the final week of the season up at Aintree. It's a 0 to one ten this week. At the top we've got Country Girl for Martin Leedham. October Sunset, Graham Clutterbuck, Gallant Gina, Paul Rhodes, Ruby Gallop, Daniel French, Maximum Mayhem, Alex Cherry, Orlando Princess, Vinnie Gerard, Vivacious, Obi-Wan, Clash William Central and Russell Crow for Padraig Hogan, Diamond Class, Alex Cherry and The Joker for Obi-Wan. So 12 of them then. Calling and away they go. And this start is all just... Series qualifier, hurdle qualifier, the chase qualifier we call it next with Leon and his country girl is the first one to show from October Sunset in second and on the inside is Orlando Princess, two greys in this field, Ruby Gallop in the pinky red up on the rail and then the, the yellow of Gallant Gina as they get over the first flight and Vivacious the clear leader Three lengths passing the winning post then with a couple of circuits to go. And Vivacious is clear by four. To Orlando Princess in green on the inside second as they get over the second. And they're all safely over that one. With Vivacious for Obi Wan clearing the lead. Of Orlando Princess, Vinnie Gerard second. Then October Sunset Grand Clutterbuck third. Country girl for Marty Lidham is fourth. The Joker, the stable companion of the leader, is next. And the leader went right through that one. Jump with a tall one. Gallant Gina's gone at the back, so surprise faller in the hurdle there. So Paul Rhodes' Gallant Gina is out. And he's still got Ruby Gallop in the other colours. I think both of the greys were Paul Rhodes's. But it's Vivacious who's the leader still from Orlando Princess and Country Girl. Then October Sunset and the Joker. Ruby Gallop is next. Then Padraig Hogan's pair are next. That's Russell Crow and Clash William Central. And Alex Cherry's pair are at the back. That's Diamond Class and Maximum Mayhem. So three trainers still double handed in this. There were initially four double handed trainers in a field of 11. It's Vivacious clearing the lead then. Country Girl in second, Orlando Princess third, then the Joker in October Sunset, Ruby Gallop on the outside of that one, being chased by Russ L. Crow as they take the fifth, as they all get over nicely. Vivacious bowling along nicely in the lead. All over the sixth, the order pretty much the same, they can't pass the stand shortly. I'll go around for one more circuit of the track. Vivacious. We'll be hoping to lead second time round as well. Stable make the Joker has moved into second. As they take the flight, that'll be the last next time round. One or two of them starting to make a forward move from the back. Russell Crow has come round the outside to get into a much closer position. They're past the winning post then. And now they swing left-handed, and Vivacious leads by five. So Ruby Gallop, who's just about showing second ahead of Orlando Princess, then Country Girl and the Joker and Russell Crow, as they get over that next one. October Sunsets after that, then Clash William Central, and finally Diamond Class and Maximum Mayhem. But the field are definitely bunching up behind this leader. He's still got a four-length lead, but the chasing pack are pretty tightly grouped. And Vivacious leads to Orlando Princess in second as they take the ninth. Then Ruby Gallop, really good jump on the outside by Russell Crow. Country Girl is still there. Clash William Central is going to try and go up the inside. The Joker is next. The two Alex Cherry horses are making a forward move. They've gone past Graham Clutterbuck's October Sunset as they come down towards the tenth. And Vivacious is just about a length and a half up now. On Orlando Princess in second. Country Girl in third. Then the Joker. Then the Ruby Gallop and Russell Crow. We've all gone over that one. Just three to jump now. And Vivacious is still in front. Leading by two. And pushed on to keep up this lead. Orlando Princess is second. Country Girl is third, then the Joker, then Russell Crow. Now October Sunset swoops round the outside. 
Looking with a good looking run, also trying to chase that one is Maximum Mayhem, Diamond Class on the inside, Ruby Gallop has dropped to the back. Over the third last they go, and it's still Vivacious in the lead. Vivacious is still too clear of Orlando Princess and Country Girl and October Sunset. They take the second last, and over that one, the leader was slow, but all of a sudden, October Sunset comes through to challenge. Country Girl's trying to challenge as well, so too's Orlando Princess. They come down towards the final flight, then. They've got a furlong and a half still to go. It's October Sunset in the lead. Country Girl moves into second. Orlando Princess looks a big danger. Ruby Gallops running on, so too's Clash William Central, but it's Country girl and takes it up then coming down towards the final flight country girl gets over it mistake by the horse in second ruby gallop oh now is the big danger but it's country girl in the lead from ruby gallop and orlando princess and country girl needs a line she's tied up as they flash past the both just held on from the fast finishing orlando princess october sunset after that and all the way back to diamond class and another half a furlong and the Paul Rhodes Grey would have got up or no, it wouldn't it would have been the Vinnie Gerard Orlando Princess that would have got up but Country Girl just hung on just had enough to see her home the top weight and Country Girl is the winner for Marty Lynn off top weight Orlando Princess and Vinnie Gerard second Ruby Gallup for Daniel French was third October Sunset for Graham Clutterbuck was fourth and Clash William Central for Patrick Hogan was fifth and with that Win, I'll hand you over to Leon for the rest of day three.